I really wanted to um, study speech pathology to work in an area of allied health and um, I was also really interested in communication and how and why people communicate. Well I have a voice background. I've been a musician for 15, 20 years and um, it seemed like a natural progression, something that I've always wanted to do. My family provided respite care for kids with a disability on weekends so from that experience I just grew to love the industry and decided that's what I wanted to do. I'm from a small country town where they don't have any disability services so I wanted to change that. background in natural medicine and I found that dealing with people on an individual level wasn't fulfilling enough and because preventative medicine was everything that I was all about, health promotion just seemed a natural progression for me in my career. I chose to do the health sciences degree because it provides me with different opportunities. There are heaps of pathways like health management, health promotion and nutrition to choose from. You can go on to do masters in physio or occupational therapy or you can choose to go into one of the graduate programs like medicine. Um, it's an area I've always been interested in. Um, I like uh, fast paced, um, high energy. I'm also very fascinated in the human body and medicine, um, but I think paramedics is a field I'd be much more suited to. It started back when I actually did a Cert for in Fitness with Australian Institute of Fitness, um, in which we studied a little bit of anatomy and physiology, and that sparked an interest in the human body and the way it works, and uh, had a look at the various degree programs out there, and this one was the one that stood out. I really want to work for the Royal Flying Doctors or go overseas to like Cambodia or Mexico and work with the disadvantaged people in the maternity healthcare settings. I did the Flinders Foundation course. I was initially interested in nursing but then decided I didn't realise you could do direct entry midwifery and I really thought that would be my cup of tea. I chose to study nutrition and dietetics because I have a love of food but I also wanted to head into the health professional and the health industry somewhere. And so I found a way to compromise my love of science and books, obviously, <laughs> with my love of food and helping people. I'll be going back to Singapore after my studies to work in hospitals. I plan to probably um, go into the direction of food. I was thinking of opening up cafes and things like that. Just got to do something with food. My career aspirations keep changing. I mean, I've, I've, wanted, I've, always, I've wanted to become a doctor, um, but I've always been interested in the surgical side, but now that I've started uni here, it's kind of changing into more of, as a GP with specialty training. Uh, well, I did medical science because I was always interested in science, and it's a good sort of general base for a degree. Over the years, um, I've decided that I wanted to, to uh, get a career that's more uh, meaningful, where I'm helping people and to offer me a good career. Yeah, and I think uh, nursing seems to offer that and it offers variety, which is really important to me as well. I've always had a real respect for healthcare professionals and especially nurses. And I came from another degree and I really sort of sat down and analysed what my strengths were and where I thought I would um, be best suited and I actually decided that nursing was uh, the best career path for me having done that. I decided to do the Bachelor of Vision Science because I'm really interested in how the eye works and I'm planning to do optometry. 